So hat tip to Dr. Michael Albert for finding this name, trademarked by Lily. I think we're down to two possible names for the weight loss version of Majaro. This is obviously one of them. Uh, but as you know, a couple weeks back, I did a video on some of the others that were filed, and I've got it down to one other one that I think might compete with this one. Let's talk about why this one might make sense first. Zep, terzepatide, right? That makes sense, but there's a few other things. So they were issued this patent on May 16th of 2023. Hey, there it is. And why is that significant? It's significant because the weight loss indication was submitted to the FDA in May. So let's look at one more indication that this is a distinct possibility. This is the Whois database for zepbound.com. If you don't know what Whois is, it's basically a, a registration um, database of who has control over what internet domain. So zepbound.com was registered in April of 2022 by Eli Lilly. So a long time ago, right? Um, so zepbound.com is currently held as a domain by Eli Lilly. Now let's talk about the second option because this is my favorite option. I like this one a lot better than ZetBound and it could also be an option. So this is the second option and this is one that I also brought you back uh, a few weeks ago, Lueo. Lueo was also registered in May when Eli Lilly submitted terzepatide for the weight loss indication to the FDA. Now, what's the significance of that? Like, why am I hung up on that it had to be submitted at the same time? I'm, I'm only, I'm not really hung up on it. I just think the timing is coincidental. And so then I went back and looked at Wigovi and Wigovi was registered in December of 2021. Guess when it was submitted to the FDA for weight loss indication? December of 2021. Like its counterpart, ZetBound, Lueo was also registered by uh, Eli Lilly back in May, May of this year. So it's possible that they juked at the last minute. Um, one slight edge that goes to Zepbound is that it was trademarked along with a, you know, a, a logo, the name in the form of a logo. I don't see anything for Lueo, but they have a host of, of other uh, icons. You know, it's the icon. So when you talk about a trademark, you're talking about uh, for, for a brand, you're talking about usually a mark, which is a logo and then the name, right? So we've got the name Lueo. It could go along with a previously uh, trademarked mark um as well and i think you know typically maybe this is a, maybe this edges out lueo a little bit typically you see the mark and then the name next to it so you see the logo and then the name next to it with zepbound it's all in one it's all in the word you don't typically see that with um with a medication you see them separately uh with a logo and mark kind of all in one it's usually a company name so we'll see what happens with that lueo and zepbound I would uh, I'd bet a lot of money on one of those two names for the weight loss indication of terzepatide. If you found this helpful or you enjoyed it, follow, the uh, follow my channel here. I'd love to have you. I do a lot of content like this. We'll catch you on the next.